So what we do recommend is to have this course open, the one teaching about HTML, and then another tab, have the course you're actually building and editing open in another tab. So that way I can see something, play a video, pause the video, go back to my course and actually try it out. So to begin, it says here I need to click this and it's gonna ask me to make a copy of this banner. So I click just make a copy. What that's gonna do is give us the template of this particular banner so we can edit it, add stuff to it, and then make something super cool like this. This is just a Google slide template that we just made smaller. And so if I'm gonna add images or text, it's just like a Google slide that you've used all along. So um, maybe I wanna insert an image. Uh, I'm gonna search the web because these are gonna be copyright free that I can use. I'm gonna search the word science, find something cool science-y to put in there. Ah, I like that image. I double click to add it in there. I need to reduce the size a little bit. I'm just gonna scooch that over to the side. And then maybe I'm gonna add a little bit of text here. If I click the text tool, I can just make my text box and say, um, there we go. I obviously would probably put more thought into this, but I just wanna make this quick so you kinda of get the point. Maybe I wanna bold this, make it much larger. Uh, I'm gonna increase it a little bit larger. And then let's say center it. And then maybe even um, we'll do some fancy things here. Let's just make it about that big. But then I want to say, put it in the middle. Okay, so now we're good to go. We have our very basic banner ready to go. I just click file and then I wanna click download as a PNG. If I return to my course, super important. I want to make sure I go to Files, Folder, and I'm going to name it Banners. The reason is then I put all of my banners in one spot. It's much more efficient and smart to set up your file folder structure prior to start adding a bunch of images, banners, etc. I'm going to open that puppy up. I'm just going to drag and drop. Now it's uploaded, and then I'm ready to go edit. So now that I'm ready to edit my page, I can go into my rich content editor, click images, and it's a course image that I've already uploaded. And here's my science banner. Oh, but it is kind of small, but check out what the rich content editor can do. I can click, go to options, and adjust it from here. I wanna say maybe extra large. I'm gonna click done, and you can see it's a little bit bigger. Now I want to say center this click save and check out how neat that looks. And so that's really going to draw attention and start to break up the page using a nice, clean and efficient banner like this.